Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. Thanks for stopping by Nobody Show with us tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about something else that we really like to collect, along with all the other stuff. And of course, it's usually car related. Uh, a lot of toys. Tin toys, 40s, 50s era tin toys. And tonight we're going to show you some, of exa some examples we've got from one of our favorite manufacturers, the Marks Company. I've got a few things laid out here. We've got a couple tanks, a couple of trucks. But back in the day, you look at this Marks dump truck here. And one way we can always tell is it's got the little MAR symbol on the back. All these toys are going to have that little stamp on them. But these things had great graphics on them. They had all this painted on the bed, even had chains painted on the bed. Had stripes painted on the truck, had a detailed grill on them. They did a really nice job with these. This is, a, this is all original, uh, nice paint, pretty well preserved truck. We've got a sand truck to go with it. This one has not weathered quite as well. Once again, it's got the mark stamp on it. It's got all the graphics painted on the bed. And this even had a dump on it to fill its own buck, its own bed with. So a couple of neat marks trucks. We'll go to our marks tanks. And these are really kind of cool. This one's not quite as nice as our other one. It's got a little surface rust to it, but the graphics on these things are great. They did a really nice job of laying them out and painting them. And these ones, these tanks have a little surprise in them. You got a pop-up guy in them. And even the guy was very detailed painted and everything. So it had nice graphics, even on the little pop-up guy. We'll take a look at our other tank here. Basically the same layout, the same type of tank, only with a different paint scheme. This is a lighter yellow and a lighter green. It's got the cannon on the front. It's got the marks on the back. And it's got our pop-up guy. He popped up a little too far. So these are really cool pieces, and they really did a nice job on these toys back in the day. They really stood out. These are all metal, actual metal toys that they painted and were nicely detailed. Got one other really cool Marks piece I want to show you. It's kind of one of probably our premier Marks piece that we have. So let me grab it real quick, and we'll take a look at this. We also have a Marks Roadside Rest Service Station. This is a great piece. It's missing a few small pieces, but by far this is one of the most complete ones I've ever seen. Um, gas pumps, air pump, these globes, I've, I've got the other one, the other globe for the other pump, but it is broke off on the socket. But these, this station actually took a battery back here on the back. You could put a battery in what they may look like the fuel barrel and these would actually light up like actual gas globes. The lift was manually operated, but it had a car that went on the lift and you could use the lift to raise the car up. You had bar stools, you had guys inside the diner, you had a rack of motor oil. This is a great toy and very seldom do you see them this good. It's got a little surface rust, it's got a few chips in it, but this toy has been very well preserved. And I believe this is a late thirties era toy. I don't remember the exact year, but I think this was late thirties is when this was made. So considering this toy is probably 80 years old, it's really weathered the test of time good. So this is by far definitely one of our favorite Marks pieces, great graphics, you know, the, the detail on the guys and everything is just, I mean, just great. It's second to none. The gas prices and everything on the pump, you've got the ethyl pump. You've got your mark stamps, and it's an American-made toy. So that's cool. That's one of our, by far one of our favorite marks pieces. But all these marks pieces were nice. They did really good quality toys. They've held up over the years, and the quality really shows. So we've got a lot of different tin toys. We've got Wyandots and, and other companies too. We'll get some of those out as we go along. I just thought tonight we'd go over some of the Mark stuff since it's one of our favorite companies. And, and this piece really just stands out, the service station one. So anyway, that's what we got to talk about tonight. Um, things are rolling for the F&E Collector Auto Auction coming up. Uh, we've got consignments coming in on a regular basis. Uh, I talked to a guy yesterday with a 65 Fairlane that's coming in, uh, 64 Impala Super Sport. So some really good consignments coming in for that. Um, once again, guys, uh, I can't emphasize enough. If you've got a question about a car or a part, you've got to call me. I was on the Nobody Show page three or four days ago and I clicked on a button and just boom, lists of comments that I've never seen. Stuff that went back months, never seen any of it. So 
it not everything facebook doesn't automatically feed me everything plus i've got people commenting on the nobody show page the nobody else's page the nobody show page on youtube so posting comments does not get you anywhere it doesn't give me the information i need and, and that's if i see it which a lot of the times i don't even see them so my numbers are on the pages on the nobody show page and the nobody else's auto page just call me so we can have a conversation about what you need. That is the only way to know you're going to get a hold of me. Facebook filters the comments and they don't always get to me. They may be in a different section. My stuff is very commonly shared to other pages and people comment on those posts. I don't even see them. I don't even know that they're out there. So call me, uh, 620-786-4428. Um, and when those, those numbers are on the pages if you've got any specific questions about cars and parts. So anyway... That's what's keeping me busy, um, getting ready for the auction, getting these consignments lined up, and keeping up with my stuff. So anyway, thanks for being here, guys. We're glad you took the time to stop by with us and check out some cool stuff. And uh, we will catch you Monday night on the next episode. Thanks for watching.